And some great personnel in this race, some of whom we've seen earlier in the meet. The meet record, Olympic champion and world record holder Kevin Young holds the meet record, and Brandon Johnson of UCLA won the meet last year in 50.03. And we get another chance to see Kai Kelly, who was in the 110 meter hurdles earlier and lost badly to Kevin Craddock of UCLA. This is his natural event, though, the 400 hurdles, and uh, he is going to have a heck of a matchup with the freshman from Washington State, Jeshua Anderson, who is a, a talent that may be one of the greatest in an, an event that has a tremendous history in the United States. And Jeshua Anderson, of course, also a college football player. And let's look back to uh, last year's California State High School Championships, where the long-standing 20-year-old record of George Porter from Cabrillo High School, Lompoc, finally went down to Jeshua Anderson, running for Taft High School of Woodland Hills. And Anderson ran 35-28 to take down that very venerable record. And if you think that was great, Anderson got done with that ran on the U.S. Junior Circuit last year and then laced up for Bill Doba's football team. His very first catch was for a touchdown. And then here in the big Washington, Washington State 100th anniversary Apple Cup game, Jeshua Anderson also caught a touchdown pass. And now you see him here, Dwight. And Joel Phillip continuing to beat his body up here at this Pac-10 <laughs> championship. Had the third fastest 400 meter time in the conference this year, and he isn't done. He's still got a 4 by 400 relay leg to, uh, to run. And we've been talking about this track. It's clearly not yielding very fast times. And I mentioned you can't use the word soft and fast in the same sentence with a track. And I think these, this softer track is starting to vibrate these people's legs into oblivion. As we look at how they will line up, it will be Kai Kelly inside in lane three, a little tight for the tall striding Kelly Jeshua Anderson who will be in lane five and Joel Phillip way out there in lane eight with only one other athlete to draw off of. and Joel Phillip ran 45 29 and for third in that 400 race behind Larry and Bowes what a quadruple attempt by Joel Phillips what did he do to have to do this in this meet he must have really Drew got the short straw I guess yeah. great crap crap set with him that's right he made it mad and they are away. Kai Kelly in three. Joshua Anderson in five. Joel Phillip way out in eight. Joshua all... Anderson crushed the first hurdle. Really smacked that hard, Dwight. And that will really hurt your pattern. This is a patterned race. These guys are trying to get 13 early in the race when they're fresh. And then maybe some of them will alternate. Others will go to 15. But Joshua Anderson is still in the lead. But it's hard to say how much that first hurdle crash has taken out of him as he now alternates. Kai Kelly coming up on the inside in lane three. It is Anderson continuing to lead. 12 steps, Dwight. He's taken 12 steps all the way around. This is unbelievable. And you see him stretching for it, and he made it. Anderson continuing to lead, but here comes Kai Kelly on the inside. How he negotiates the 10th hurdle is going to be everything. It's Kai Kelly closing hard, but Joshua Anderson still has something left. And in lane six, Jake Hansen of Cal holds off Kai Kelly for second place. So hard to say what Joshua Anderson might have been able to do had he not had trouble negotiating that very first hurdle of this race. And a career race by Jake Hansen. He really came down. Watch how he slams the first hurdle here. Right here, he just takes it to wax the heck of it, out of it and sends it sprawling. But you know what? He's a poised kid. He did not lose his focus, did not face him one bit. In fact, he, he increased his lead here, Otto. That impressed me the most, Tom, because most freshmen smacking that first hurdle, it would have thrown their race off. Look at him coming off. This is hurdle nine right now. At this point, he is reaching, holding his form. And when he found himself in trouble, he went to his technique. Even here, when Kai Kelly makes a run on the inside, he goes to the arms. Look at that finish by the freshman. And he has the same kind of build as your Andre Phillips's, your Kevin Young's, etc. Lindsay. Joshua Anderson hit that first hurdle pretty hard. How did you recover from that? Uh, this stay positive. Yeah. Right, get back back in rhythm. I think I didn't fall or nothing. So uh, I'll praise the God on that one. I just clipped a couple, so uh, kind of got me off rhythm. But uh, just stay with it and then stay focused and run through the tape. You lost to Kai Kelly in your first outdoor meet of the season. What did you do differently this time from a strategic standpoint? Um, just got out hard. Uh, that's how I ran in high school. And my first race didn't run it like that. And uh, that's, that's about all, all I did when it got hard and really pass up everybody. So I cruise and then kind of get back in my rhythm and then uh, push it a little harder at the end. 
Joshua Anderson, boy, worked hard tonight, worked hard this whole entire season, went from outdoor track to football to indoor track to outdoor track. He's still going. I don't know how. Dwight, back to you. All right, Lindsay. Well, it just shows you how hard this event is as we see the times all under 50 seconds in the 400-meter hurdles. We're back with the 200s when we come back.